A big thank you to GoDaddy for sponsoring this video. GoDaddy Managed WordPress Hosting is a great way to quickly create and host your WordPress site. Go to bit.ly forward slash jamiewp to get 30% off your managed WordPress hosting today. Good morning. A few days ago, I showed you how to create these beautiful bento grids with WordPress using no plugins or CSS. Well, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to recreate the Procreate beautiful website just using a WordPress block theme. So there is loads of great stuff you're going to learn in this video. You're going to learn all about bento grids and how you can create them on your own sites. You're going to learn about how you can change global styles in a block theme. You're also going to learn about block locking. This is super useful if you're passing your site off to team members or to your customers. You're also going to learn about softening blocks. I learned this amazing tip this week about how you can soften the transition between blocks. And you're also going to learn how to create video headers on your sites as well. So there's loads of amazing stuff. Let's get started. Oh, also I've created a theme out of this design that you can download completely for free. Link in description. Let's get started. So as ever in these recreations, I have my freshly pressed WordPress website over on the left. Done nothing to it yet. Over on the right is the site I'm trying to rebuild. This is Procreate and it's beautiful. The bit I'm particularly interested in, though is these bento grids here. Here's an example of a bento grid layout, but I'm going to try and replicate the site and build a few of the key pages. And so I'm going to start by going to Global Styles to change the background color and the fonts. Pretty straightforward. Just click on Edit Site at the top here. And I'm going to click on Global Styles up here in the top right. Let's close these screens down. Click on Global Styles. And then I'm actually going to use the style book to start with. That's that little icon there. And that just opens up all the blocks. And I can see all the styles of all the blocks. Now these are Global Styles, so if I change them here, they're going to affect all my pages. So I'm just going to change, I think, just my font here. I'm going to change to a sans serif font. And that's changed the font of all my headings. And let's just check on the paragraph one as well. I'm going to change that to sans serif as well. Now I could change all my other blocks in here. You can see I can go in my design blocks. Now the other thing I want to do quickly here is also change the background color of the entire site. So I'm going to come back here and go to colors. And you'll see I can come into background and I can change the background color. I've also quickly just built my header out. And I've done that by going to patterns down here and then coming down here to header. And I've just jumped into my header here. And I've added the site logo up here. You'll see if I click on the list view, which is that little icon there, there is already a site logo block already in the theme. And I've just added my logo to that block. And then I've just added the navigation block. Well, rather, I've edited the navigation block. Again, that was already there in the theme. And I've just added my pages into that. And I've also changed the background color of that group to be the black color as well. And what I did next before I got to my bento grid, I just built out this page very quickly. It was just using an image block and text blocks and some buttons blocks. So pretty straightforward. So here's where I'm at. My site is over on the left. The real site is over on the right. But now it's time to see if we can replicate these lovely bento grids. So I'm going to split this design into essentially two rows, two columns blocks. This first one just has two columns in. Let's start with that. So I'm going to add the columns block using the shortcut forward slash columns. And I'm going to choose the rough proportions of this one, which is that option there. Now I'm going to use the cover block for all of these because you'll see I've got text in here. And I also need the video and the cover block will do all of that for me out of the box. So I'm going to add the cover block into this left one. I am going to choose a video and that will load in the video. Now I just need to add a title and this sort of headline over the top. So we just need to write some words in here. And the cover block can do cool stuff. For example, I can change the position of this text just by changing the content position using this little matrix. So I'm going to choose top left. You can see here I've also changed the line height a little bit and I've also changed the size and whether it's bold or not. These are all settings now built into Gutenberg core. The only other thing I want to do here is add little rounded radiuses to my cover block. Super easy because that's built into the cover block. Just come to styles after selecting the cover block, come down here to radius and pop your radius in. Once you've got your first card designed the way you want it, then it's time to create a reusable block out of it. Just select the block itself, click on the three dots, come down here to pattern and give it a name. You can categorize them as well and you want to choose unsynced. That means that you can reuse it without changing every instance of it wherever it's been used. And that pattern has been saved to a global library where you can see all the patterns that you've created. And you can also edit them here. 
Here's a good tip. If you click on it, it'll take you back to the edit screen. Click into it, but now if I click on the list view, I can actually select this group and lock it, which means that if I choose lock all, my end users can't move it and they can't remove it, which is great because then you can create these blocks centrally and give them to your users, uh, but you have a certain level of control of what they can do. And here's my first card looking pretty good. Now it's time just to build out the rest of the grid. So all I need to do is click in the second column, click add block, search for my pattern that I just created. It'll find it, insert it. And now I just need to change the background image. So I'm gonna click on replace and choose a different image. And then all I need to do once I've done that is change this text. If you want precise control over the width of your columns, you can do that as well. Just select the column you want to change over in the list view, come across to the right and you can select a different width. So let's change that to 60 and let's change this one to 40. And you can probably work out how I'm gonna do this grid here. This is just two columns, that's all it is, with two blocks within this left-hand column. And here's one I prepared earlier, I'm just gonna copy and paste it in. It's one of the beautiful things about Gutenberg is that you can copy and paste blocks between sites. And there we go, there's my finished bento grid. In the left column, I've got two cover blocks, they're just stacking on top of each other as they'll naturally do. And in this right hand column, I've got this cover block over here. So this is my bento grid over on the left and this is the official Procreate website over on the right. I'm pretty pleased with it. It looks pretty fantastic to me and I've just used core Gutenberg blocks to do it. No custom CSS, no plugins. I'm gonna build out one of the internal pages because it has two amazingly cool things I want to show you that are very easy to do just using core Gutenberg. So I'm gonna show you this. If I go to the Our Apps page, Look at this page here, see how it's got a video background, but it also has this beautiful graduation leading down into the page itself. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to templates, click on the add new, come down here to custom template, give your custom template a name, then click create, click on the plus sign. One of the patterns that comes now with the 2024 theme is this header background one, just select that one there. Now all you need to do is add a video background by clicking on replace, then add your words into the cover block itself. And this final step is to create this beautiful graduation from the video down into the page itself. You can see how there's no clear boundary. Whereas on my site, there's a very, very blunt boundary. But we can use the overlay that's built into the cover block to do this. So I've just implemented the overlay trick and you can see now we've got a much softer border. Hardly you can tell where the video ends and the page starts. This is how I did it. Select the cover block, make sure the overlay opacity is at 100, then click on overlay this is the trick. Then you have these selectors here, these pickers. Make sure the angle is at 190. Then on the first picker, you select transparent to be completely transparent, so it shows through the whole of the image. And then on these pickers, you're gonna choose black, and but you're gonna have a full opaqueness. And that means it'll graduate down from full transparency at the top to full blackness down here. And you can play with the graduation, so you can change it in the color picker. Now if I want to use my new header template that I just created, I just create a page, come across to the right into templates, click on the drop down here and then choose my new header. Now I can put any content into this page I like and there we go, there's my brand new header and there's the content that I actually put in the page. So here's my finished site, well part finished site, but I think it looks fantastic for you know about 20 minutes work. Here's my beautiful bento grid. I hope you enjoyed that one. I think it's a really cool thing that you can use in all sorts of situations, whether it's products or photography or portfolios. And then this other trick of having a background image for your header, which graduates down into the page. I think it's stunning. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, if you can hit the like button now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge difference in terms of how many people actually get to see this video. It really, really does. So if you can hit that like button, it'd be great. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats, Get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. If you want to avoid making the biggest beginner's WordPress mistake, watch this video. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.